Right, struggle with the app again for a bit, but here we are. I should probably just do it for one of the web browsers that actually works. Oh, okay. We've seen this sign before. Okay, I forgot to obviously see it last time. We found it. Break? No. We're alright, they seem to be killing their own kind. So, uh, if we just wait long enough, they'll be gone. Oh, yeah. That's why I saved. Because apparently, these quick time events are really darn hard on the PC version. What's that? Why are you even wear those buns? <laughs> oh, is that, was that left, right? Is that left and right mouse button? Damn it, of course, the, the first death comes from a bloody QTE. I don't count that. I'm still doing just as well as I was in Elliot Quest. Okay, then it checkpointed me anyway. I get really annoyed later with QTEs if they um, consistently stay really hard, and I have to actually go back and fair distance off the one. It run at insane speed. What? They, they, they changed the props. You bastards. Jeez, X, it, could it just literally be any key on this bloody keyboard? Cause that is insane. <laughs> I keep the controller at hand just to do the. Uh, oh, awesome! I thought there'd be a feature like that. Yeah, Q. Quick turn. Sweet. Get you running away from things, apart from boulders. Although you could use it there, Leon. I suppose. Okay. Got an entire keyboard here of buttons. Who knows what it would be? XC. Jesus Christ. Is it like an easy mode for QTEs? I guess not. Damn it. Ugh, oh, bats. Don't block my shots. Oh, I got three of those things now. Now can I do it? Nope. Those gems are not worthwhile. Well, I'll find something to do with it. It's a puzzle piece. That's why it's not in the key item section. Oh dear. Map location. Yeah, this is like a pretty big area. I'm probably going to do some flying. Oh yeah. Now I wish I'd opened fire. Whoa. We surf the explosives. Or something that she just throw explosives at me. I think they might be doing that. Yep. Oh, sweet. Shoot the thing out of his hand. Nice, he cleared the puzzle room for me. Or the trap room, whatever. I don't know if they can throw stuff at me from here. And also, mega spider. Can I kill it? Oh, yes, I can. I was kind of hoping it would drop some awesome spider goodies, but. Oh, I, I literally just walked right into that. Well, almost walked right into that. You know, it was so obviously there. Continue to value my precision aiming. There we go. See, if they hold the explosives on them, they're a lot less threatening. Fortunately, I've got to avoid bear traps while, yeah, not being able to look at my feet as I've stated before. That was one of the most unnerving and disorientating parts of this game. I'm also really interested to find out. Oh! It's like, what the hell is that noise? 
I was about to say. I kind of wonder about um, the actual plot of this game and stuff, and what's going to happen with the plot. Because I've only really seen disjointed scenes of this before on Try Probably Play It. And it gets really weird. I'm not quite sure exactly, like, yeah. Why? It goes all really, like, weird, like every Resident Evil plot does. So, it'd be interesting to find out. And this is probably a forged LP to start, because who knows I'll be able to, uh, to make it through this game. I might have to call on a buddy to finish it with me. If uh, things get too drastically scary. Okay, something's big and slamming. New monster type, or is it just guy guy being angry? And smacking up things. I'm gonna try and get back so I can get a good view of the house. Though, do I see anyone? No. Unfortunately. It's kind of weird. I guess it's to make it easier to aim at things, but it's kind of weird how your laser sight doesn't doesn't actually become a laser sight unless it's sees like you can actually shoot at. Well, that was a that was a brilliant start to this encounter. Guy with explosive right around the door. Where's save point? Right. This is going to end up at the next save point, but I've still got time to the video. It's going to be really confusing to try and do with this series. I'm trying to keep things to to a time schedule and conform to save point systems. Um, how far off is the next save point? Well, you know what, my my destination is right in here, and I got a feeling like I know what's going to happen on the next because I've seen the start of this game more recently. So, I feel like the next spot's going to be a cutscene and I'll get a chance to save again anyway, so. Oh, then why'd they stick a save point there if that's the case? Yeah, well. I'm pretty sure it is the case. You can duck right, Leon. Come on, Leon. You seriously? That'd be so easy to go under. I don't think he is going to. I'll throw an egg at it. Come at me, zombie fiends. Okay. That slamming is still going on. I don't know from where. Check those drawers back there. Ah, oh, sweet. I won't use this one by accident. Combine. I can't combine it with a red. What does that do? Probably waste my herbs, right? Creature maximum health and restores health completely. Yeah, that's kind of a waste. Oh, wow, that's a tiny amount of max increase as well. I was hoping like maybe using the red with the yellow would um like increase my health by like quite a large amount or something. Well, I found the source of the noise. Shotgun. Ah, a little rough, 
don't you think? <clears throat> You're not like them? No. You? Well, he's actually talking to you in, in a language that's comprehensible. Also. Okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Yeah, I thought this was, uh, which brought us Kathleen next. <laughs> Being taken out in one punch or one throw. Hit a hit ratio of eighty percent. Enemies killed eighteen. Number of times killed twice. What? I didn't die. Oh yeah, I did. Ah, oh, those weren't real deaths. They were cutie bullshit deaths. And yeah, I thought we were gonna have a chance to save. Now, as I'm not gonna, I can't just stop here. I guess we'll see the intro cutscene to the next chapter and end it off. Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. one hole and into another you want to tell me what's going on here americano see now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world oh hey easy whoever you are <sighs> name's leon came here looking for this girl seen her what are you supposed to be a cop or something nah you don't look the type maybe Okay, let out me to guess. Be She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. Okay, I'm missing property virus. Maybe. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not bad. Do something, cop! After you! Now! Codec calls. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Well, the village was so friendly the first time we were there. Why not take a trip back? Alright. 
And that's going to be a slightly shorter episode, but as close as I'm going to get. So we can come back and scare myself even more next time Resident Evil. Uh, not quite feeling the fear factor yet, though I am slightly unnerved. As you can see, things get to me quite easily if I don't play this genre typically. But this one is a good enough game to warrant me giving it a go. So I will catch you guys next time. And actually, I better get some Elliot quests done as well, so I make them alternate between the two series for a little while. Though, speaking about that, I probably should... Uh, well, that's something for me to contemplate. I'll catch you guys next time.